Cloudflare is often used to protect websites, but it isn't perfect and can sometimes throw errors that can do the exact opposite. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix Cloudflare access error 1005 which can deny you access to a website or service that you may be wanting to access on the internet. Now if you're trying to access a website that's protected by Cloudflare and you're getting the error 1005 it could be caused because of a number of reasons number one being your client IP address is just blocked by the host the website is blocked in your region uh, you could have incorrect system data time you could have your IP address been uh, have been added to Cloudflare's block list and then uh, of course any active VPN or proxy services which is blocked by Cloudflare so the first thing uh, in fixing this issue is to check your internet connection restart your router make sure everything is connected and working run a small speed test as well to figure out if there are any potential issues or anything of the sort so just make sure that your internet connection is active and working before trying again The next thing that you can do is to try clearing all of your browser data to isolate the fact that your browser is causing the issue. Now to do so, just uh, launch your browser. Uh, in this case, I'm using Edge, but any other browser works. If you're using Edge, head over to these uh, three dots right here that says settings. Scroll down to find the proper settings. In here, we're going to go to privacy, search and services. And if you scroll down a little, you'll find the delete browsing data option. Click on choose what to clear, select all time in the time range and uh, just check everything in the boxes. Uh, go ahead and click on clear now. Let the browser do its thing and you will be in most cases good to go. The next step is to try and disable any VPNs or firewalls that you might be using. Uh, it's a really simple thing to do. So for example, if we were using just the default Windows firewall, just search for Windows Firewall and you will see a bunch of options appear. We are interested in the Firewall and Network Protection option right here because this opens up Windows Security. In here, you'll be able to see which firewall is active. So go ahead and click on that. And then using this slider, you can go ahead and completely disable the firewall altogether. Now, uh, this does leave you vulnerable to attacks from uh, malicious actors online, but it can get the thing resolved in a pinch. This is especially true with third party firewalls as Windows firewalls tend to not really raise any issues. Alternatively, if you are using any sort of VPNs, uh, I would recommend that you try disabling them and if you're not using a VPN, you can also try using one with a region uh, set to wherever some place that you know that the site is working so that you can try and emulate your connection from another point to see if you can access the internet or whatever website you're trying to access. Another thing that you can quickly uh, do is to try a whole different DNS altogether. Uh, so let's, for example, set up our PC to use the Google DNS to see if that helps resolve the issue. So uh, once again, press the start menu to open up the search box and search for control panel. Press enter. In here, click on network and sharing center. Then click on change adapter settings. And then select your adapter from this list. I'm using Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go ahead with that. Scroll down to prop, uh, right click and then click on properties. Now in this list, we are going to select IPv4, uh, Internet Protocol version 4, and then click on properties again. As you can see, I now have the option of manually entering an IP address and a DNS server. Uh, I'm just going to use Google's DNS server, which is 888 8, 8, and 8. And then in the alternate DNS, I'm just going to 88 8, and then 44. 4. Once you're done setting everything up, just go ahead and click OK. Uh, save your changes, reconnect to your internet connection, and then you should be able to access the site or the service just fine. Another thing that you can uh, fix is to make sure that your PC's date and time are set accurately because it's a very important thing and it can prevent you from accessing internet websites. To do that is rather simple. Just press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings. Uh, under find the setting option, just go ahead and search for time you will see date and time settings. So we're just going to click on that. And all of your daytime settings will be available here. So uh, as you can see, we have set time zone and set time automatically. And both of these settings are enabled. Uh, as long as you're connected to the internet, 
check both of these sliders so make sure that they're on and then down here where it says uh, sync with the windows time servers just click on the sync now button to make sure that your time is updated to the latest possible settings and then you should be good to go if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you want to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology. Follow us on social media. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter. And we'll see you in the next video.